Hey, what's up guys, it's Gem Jam here, and sadly I wasn't able to upload um, my Sunday video I was trying to do, but um, I did open a box of Phantom Rage, but um, sadly when I was recording it, some technical difficulties came along, so I wasn't able to upload it to YouTube. So I guess I'd make it up to you guys today that um, I'm trying to do more weekly basis, or I'm trying to do um, every weekend, and then I obviously upload every now and then, but... To make it up to you guys, I have another opening for you guys, which I am very excited for. This was $100. I'm really hoping it's going to be worth it. Because it's 10 packs of the one and only old school classic Soul of the Duelist. I am very excited for this because not only is this like a really old retro pack, they're all pretty much um there. And then also the fact is... I guess, um, this pretty much probably has my favorite rarity, besides, uh, maybe Ghost Rares. Um, I think Ghost Rares is probably my favorite rarity, but I think Ultimate Rare is a close second. And I know, um, recently Ghost Rares have been pretty, um, what's it called? I wouldn't say, um, gone, but, um, they've been pretty rare, because I think they just recently brought them back with, um, the raw Ghost Rare. So, I even haven't even got ultimate rares because I don't go to mo a local that's technically an OTS store. So, I don't get tournament packs. So, I am very excited that if I can pull an ultimate rare, that'd be really awesome. So, first starting off, we got a Mind Crush. That's very cool. I actually love Mind Crush. It's, like, such a cool card. And, you know, I play control decks. So, having it in here is just cool to see. We got Dark Mimic level 1. Two-man Cell Battle Beetle. Sandwich? Wow. <laughs> that is old school. Oh my god. Uh, Sangin and Witch of the Black Forest. And then, I think this is our, our hollow, hopefully. Ah, uh, we got a rare. We got a hammer shot. Very cool. Horgan's Eye. Enraged Mooka. Goblin Kali Grapper. And Dark Factory of Math Production. Very cool. Put the rare over here. Alright, next pack. Do a countdown. Number nine. Huh? Yeah. I guess um these are old school packs. But the old school packs I feel like they're hard to open. But we got another sandwich, very cool. <laughs> sandwich is just a funny card to me. It looks so really funny. You know, I know I like the fact that it's very old school. Fusion weapon. Ooh, an armed dragon. I didn't know the level once this came in this. Two-man cell beetle at, or battle. I'm not sure why I thought it was beetle. And, oh my Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God, we got one of the horrors of, fly, horrors of um, flame. We got horrors of black flame. Um, Demon level four. Or dragon level four, God. I remember these monsters. They were so cool back in the day. I love them so much. They're cool. So I was very excited to pull that. <laughs> that was uh that just made my day. Verged, Dark Factory, um, Horus and the Guardian of the Fourth Dimension. I'm not sure, um that's pretty good, so I don't know what I want more that can top that. Maybe an ultimate rare, but even for a rare, that's pretty awesome because I love those horse monsters so much. <laughs> Level up. Dark magic. Howling. Into the art of joy and another rare master of Ah, uh, This card was actually so freaking like good and back in the day. Just think about it. You got a monster that basically can't be beat over. Back in the day, there wasn't anything that could beat over this. So you'd have to force your opponent to use fish or whatnot. So this was a really good card. <laughs> Absolute End. New Aqua. Mass Dragon. And Big Wave, Small Wave. I remember running that in my Atlantean deck. Big Wave, Small Wave. Alright, so we got an Unshaven Angler, 
<laughs> Ooh, there we go. Red eyed beach X. Very cool. Level up. Arm dragon level five. There we go. Very rare. Horus servant. Mathful Horus servant. And Dark Factory of Mass Production. I think we have a place in the Dark Factory of Mass Production by now. Fine Wipe. I actually never heard of this card. You can only activate this card if your opponent has three or less cards in their hand. Your opponent adds his or her hand to the deck and shuffles it. Then draws the same number of cards. Pretty cool. I guess that's kind of cool for like... If your opponent's got like a bunch of hand traps and whatnot. And you want to go off. So you play this card to get rid of them. Hand Have. Oh, another mind crush. Very cool. Nobleman, Ether, Bug. And nice, we got a Churl in Pachi. Charcoal in Pachi. Ritual weapon, the Trojan horse. Bitful destroy. And ultimate baseball kid. I actually have a lot of these cards. This is really cool. I haven't seen that card in a while. I have to probably go through a bunch of my old stuff to see that card again. Not sure if it's just me, but I feel like all these old school packs are a lot harder to open than the newer ones. Sandwich. Unshaven Angler. Taunt. Red Eyed Bee Chick. Okay, we got a trap card. Let's see what we got. We got Hallowed Life Barrier for our first super rare. Very cool. Ultimate Baseball Kid. Abyssal. And Absolute End. And the Trojan Horse. Very, very awesome. So I think we, so far, we only got one hull, so that's kind of sad, but I'm hoping that these last couple packs pull through. Yep. I want to read Hollowed Life Barrier. So, the effect is to scarf one card from your hand during this turn. Any damage you take from your opponents become zero. Kind of feels like a wabuku. Uh, I think a howling insect. Never mind. I thought it was a new card, but I'm like, oh yeah, we pulled that before. Hold up. Arm dragon. Mind wipe. Okay, nice. We got an ultra rare, finally. Mystic Forgeman level 4. Hell yeah. Abyssal Dictinator, Trojan Horse, Ritual Weapon, and Doll of Demise. Three more packs. Taunt. Sandwich. Not sure if you can hear my dog barking in the background. Arm Dragon level 3, and. Nice. We got a Dark Mimic level 3. For a servant, put that over there. Not sure why I keep doing that. Doll of Demise, for a servant, Dark Factory of Meth Production. I think we already pulled like five of those. <laughs> it's like everyone, like at least almost every pack could have one of them in there. Wait, shit. Am I being stupid? Is this an ultimate rare? Am I so stupid that I can't get my rarities right? This is an ultimate rare. That's even better. <laughs> Comment below if you're if it's an ultimate rare. I'm pretty sure it's an ultimate rare, but I haven't done rarities in a while. I haven't seen ultimate rares in so long that I kind of forgot what they look like. Arm Dragon Level 3. Oh, wow. This is actually a really good card. Funny story, um... When me and my friends would play, I never realized that, um, basically I would play this card. Oh wait, never mind, it was not this card, but it was another card, um, but I would play this card all the time when I was younger, and I'd be like, let me just, um, put a bunch of cards in my opponent's graveyard, and I usually, to put back in the day when, when cards were in the graveyard, they usually didn't do anything, so I'd maybe grab you a card, they don't usually summon back or anything. So, having this card was really awesome, just playing this and be like, 
Oh, you take 100 damage for every card in your graveyard. Level up. There we go. Ninja Grand Masker Sasuke. Very cool. I don't think I've actually pulled that. Oh, sweet, sweet. We got Heavy Slum. That's an old school card. Elemental Dragon. Big Wave Small Wave. And Mass Dragon. Mass Dragon was another classic card that I put, remember playing all the time. Alright, last pack of our Soul of the Duelist. Very cool. Heed Heen. Very cool. It's the old school card. I love these old school cards, truthfully. I think that's my favorite thing in nostalgia. New into Ninditsu Art of the DKOE. Decoy. God, I can't breathe. Pronounce things. Come on, our last card. Something good, please. Oh, there we go. There's something new. We got a refel, refeshal or rebellious, rebellia seduction. I'm gonna call it rebellia. I think that sounds about right. Neo Aqua Major. <laughs> Very cool. I remember Aqua Major, but I guess it's Neo Aqua Major. Absolute end and lastly we got ultimate baseball kid So really fast. I'll run you through what we got Not only did we get one two three Put that over to the side four five six seven eight nine We got nine rares which not that exciting, but when it's old school, I will take anything I can get. These old school cards are the best cards. Don't quote me on that. You can fight me in the comment section if you want to. But, we pulled an ultimate rare. That is insane, guys. Oh my god, I never even knew this card came in an ultimate rare. This looks so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I can't believe I pulled this still, and if you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.